Shadows of change. Shadows of change. Shadows of change. Hello everybody, Redbeard here back at it again, and today is the Shadows of Change reveal trailer. And we now have confirmation that it is indeed Yuanbo, the Changeling, and Mother Ostankia. So that is amazing. Uh, Yuanbo, we've already seen him obviously. His model's amazing. The Changeling, his model's amazing. Mother Ostankia, amazing. Now, I, I kind of almost wish they went a little creepier, but I, I do say that Mother Ostankia's model, uh, or design or whatever, is a good mix between the super, like, dark, supernatural creature uh, version of her and just the kind of standard hag uh, of g general folklore. I think it is a good kind of crossbreed in the model. Now, I just want to, with this video, go over the things I picked out as far as what units were shown. So, for Kislev, uh, starting with Mother Ostankia, she gets a unique sled, so uh, I'm very much hoping that that means that Katarin is also getting her unique sled, because, I mean, my god. And uh, But Mother Ostankia's sled... The, the, yeah, so the the units I saw were uh, so there's the giant incarnate elemental of beasts. I think that's what it is. Um, it's like a giant size. It looks like it's the incarnate elemental of beasts for sure. Then there's the Wend and and by the way, on that that means that unit could also come to the beastman the beastman yes the beastman dude i love the beastman they have such they they got several units so first off the incarnate elemental beasts and then also potentially zongors which i'm going to get to um so the beastmen are going to potentially get not one but two different units or maybe even three if we're talking about zongor variants um in in this in this dlc I mean, I hope. I mean, it just makes sense that they should also cross over to the Beastman roster. Oh, that would be amazing. I really hope that's... You know, and if not, we got mods. They'll, they'll take care of it. Uh, but then, besides the Incarnal M Elemental of Beast, we kind of got like a... a smaller version. Kind of like a... I guess a War Beast size. Uh, which I'm just assuming are Wendigo Beasts of some sort. I don't know what their actual name will be in the game, but for now I'm calling them Wendigos. And that's what unique the unique sled from Mother Ostankia. Her sled is pulled by these little kind of Wendigo war beasts. I mean, I say little, but they're kind of more monstrous beast-sized. I, I don't know. I, I think they'll count as large enti uh, entities. But you get, it looks like you can probably bring them in a pack... Uh, generally, or uh, there's at least Mother Ostankia's unique sled. Uh, if we get any hag heroes or lords, they I, they might also have this mount, possibly. But besides that, for Kislev, we also saw some kind of looking stealthy infantry uh, that are kind of scouting out, and they see uh, the changeling doing some some you know schemes up in the forest. Um, now this looks like it's probably a unit, so maybe a unit that has stealth, and I, I don't know what they would do in combat. It didn't really show them doing anything in combat. They could be any number of things. I just think they're a stealth unit. Um, but potentially that they could also be a agent hero, uh, potentially, just because of how they're interacting in the trailer. Now, we also saw just a shadow of what looks to be Oblast Elk Riders. So think of the, the Wood Elf Elk Riders, or, or you know, Glade Riders, or whatever. Uh, so it looks like we're going to get the Oblast Elks, which very much coincides with us getting an elk, unique elk sled for Katarin. I very much think so. Hopefully. Uh, now we also, one more thing for Kislev, we also see some flying units uh, in the backgrounds and kind of the edges of some shots. Now whether these, what these are, I'm not sure. You know, they could be 
you know, uh, Mother Ostankia can wield, like, fell bats or, you know, some kind of flying creature like that, which would be very nice. Or it could just be that the Onyx Crowmen are trying to keep an eye on what the Changeling is doing over in the old world besides just Cathay. It could be that as well. I'm not sure. It looks like these flying units are flying along with the armies of Mother Ostankia, though, so it could be bad. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments, what you think that flying unit is, what they're doing. So moving on to Cathay. So obviously we have the Onyx Crowmen. We've already learned a lot from the ebook. Um, again, I think they're going to be like a uh, the most elite version of like a, a Chaos Fury or a Harpy. So more elite than that unit, but kind of the, of the same uh, same role. Uh, but also I think they potentially could be an agent or hero. Maybe only specifically to Yuan Bo or maybe to Cathay in general. On the other end... For lords, we definitely see a melee lord with a giant warhammer kicking ass, taking names in this trailer. So that's great that we get uh, a Cathay lord that's just a just a melee bruiser. Uh, could also get a hero version. Not sure. Uh, then, big, big, the biggest thing we saw for Cathay that we didn't get from the ebook was the Jade Lion, which. Here does not look like Monstrous Cavalry. It looks like it is a single entity, which hopefully will also be a mount for, let's say, the, these melee generals or whatever. I, I definitely hope that they're a that somebody can ride them. Uh, that would be disappointing if that weren't a thing. So yeah, definitely think the melee general should have that as a mount. At the very least, we also see what looks to be a black version of the jade lion which makes me think it's an onyx lion kind of like the onyx chroman whereas the regular jade lion might be yang focused the onyx lion might be yin focused i'm just speculating though then we also see what i think is the shang wu war drum which i imagine is just you know it's just a support unit. You know, might give leadership or melee buffs or to surrounding allies. And that pretty much covers everything I saw for Cathay for this round. Uh, but then Zinch is definitely getting quite a bit. So Zinch is not only getting... is For the paid legendary heroes, the Changeling. But the free... Or, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Blue Scribes. And then the free LC is... a. Ickled Halbrass, with the legendary lord being the changeling. Um, I definitely think it would have been nice if Cathay and Kislev got a legendary hero too. That being said, I do want to see Blue Scribes and Ickled Halbrass added at some point, so I'm I'm fine with getting them now, just as long as like we're gonna get a Cathay and Kislev hero at some point. Uh, Master Poe for Cathay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> uh, Kislev, I don't even know, uh, the, the, the Sun Knight, the, I forget her name. She might be a good legendary hero, or lord, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so then beyond that, uh, Blue Scribes and Akel Hellbrass should be great. I, I, I don't know. Um, but for units, Zongors. We only saw one variant, uh, at least I only saw one variant in the trailer, which was Shield and Sword, which is the most standard version of Zongor there is, so that makes sense. Um, I would also hope to see like a Halberd version or a Great Weapon version. Uh, I really hope that we're getting the Enlightened or Skyfire Zongor, though they made no appearance as far as I saw in the trailer. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, dude, I want the on Enlightened and Skyfires so bad. Those units are... Th those models in the tabletop are so cool. Oh, And that would just be such a powerful unit. The Skyfires especially. 
But the Enlightened would be kind of a lot like Doom Knights of Zinch. So I, I wouldn't mind them not adding the Enlightened. But the Sky Fires. Oh my god, those are dripping in potential. Especially for Doom Stacks. Anywho. Really hope for the Sky Fires. But beyond that, we see two huge monsters. The Cockatrice is the first one, which is not as huge but it, it definitely looks like a bruiser like I didn't I don't th I think it did a little bit of like a magical breath attack I don't it, I, th I would assume it would have probably some bound spells or like an, a, a some kind of magic aura going on since as it is a zinch creature uh, yeah otherwise uh, I imagine it'll just act like a wyvern otherwise which is an awesome unit for the Zine Troster. Then, the big bad. The, the the thing, the only thing in the trailer that made me, like, throw my hands up and be like, oh my god, is the Mutilid Vortex Beast. Oh my god, I am, oh. So not, and what we saw it do in the trailer is it, it when it walked, but before it even got to this melee general, tentacles were coming up out of the ground so definitely meaning it's gonna have some kind of aura i speculated before because in, in lore uh it could the mutilith vortex beast would literally in its uh, aoe would change like at least humans into chaos spawn um obviously that would be overpowered if that was just instantaneous i gave i've given a couple different solutions to how that ability could work in total war i'll try to leave a link uh, up in the top right now for one of those videos i think I ta i've talked about it several times but in the trailer we see we see that tentacle aura so you know that could just be it could just be in mortis engine or i i, I hope it could possibly spawn chaos spawn like you know if it does enough damage if it cer reaches a certain damage threshold maybe uh to and, it, and it's like mortis engine ability it 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 gets a free uh spawn of chaos spawn like a bound ability uh but then we also see it the terracotta sentinel goes to attack the mutal vortex beast and it discharges like a lightning bolt at the terracotta sentinel which essentially just one shots it from the look of it so potentially we have uh, a bruiser of a single entity monster that has an aoe aura that can spawn chaos spawn and also might act like uh shoot what's it called from the empire the uh the light beam oh boy what's it called Basically, it could potentially act like an artillery, or, or, or if you want to, the Basilidon with the solar engine is another unit similar, where it shoots out a laser beam of sorts. So the Mutalic Vortex Beast is by far the thing in the trailer that most got me just like, bah! <laughs> like, I'm so pumped for that, and to be able to use it, oh. That it, that is like of of the many units that I hope to see in Total War Warhammer Three over the years to come. That was one of my most anticipated units for any any race. So, oh, and the Mutant of the Vortex Beast also could put and the Cockatrice. Oh, the Cockatrice could work for the Beastman possibly too. There's a third unit that might work for the Beastman. But the, the Cockatrice and the Mutalith you know, Vortex Beast could also potentially work in the Warriors of Chaos roster as well. Uh, de uh, definitely. Uh, those are units I definitely see making a transition over to that roster. Oh, there's just uh, dripping with potential. Um, as far as like the narrative, uh, there isn't really much to talk about. I think the ebook did most of it. I mean, you know, there's a the Kislev ad with this trailer. You just see, uh, you know, the Mother of Stankia's agents, whatever this like stealthy infantry is, uh, seeing the changeling messing around, and then the changeling 
uh, I guess, corrupts this Kislevite city, and Mother Ostankia then attacks this Kislevite city. So, and, and, the, and then you see the changeling in a ice switch form standing outside of the settlement after it's burning to the ground and just, like, pleased with, you know, what he or they are seeing. Um, so, you know, could be that it's just, you know, the changeling doing what the changeling does, playing uh, Kislevites against each other. And, you know, doing the same in Cafe as well. You know, and then you on Bo, we see him get a message that an army on the march has been attacked by Zinch forces, where, you know, led by this melee, new melee general. And immediately, you know, a thousand crows, Onyx Chromen, like spring into the sky. So there isn't a lot about, about the narrative other than kind of things we already kind of knew were thematically happening. So just, just confirmation, I guess. Uh, and that's about all I saw. So, uh, yeah, wrap up the video there. Now, jump into the comments. Give me, uh, you know, tell me what you, what you think, you know, about anything I said or anything you saw that I didn't mention. Uh, and yeah, man, awesome. Awesome to see this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like this. Also, uh, I still have one more <laughs> video for the Thrones of Chaos. <coughs> DLC speculation on dwarves that I still uh, I, I, it, uh, it's in the editing process obviously like most of you I have been completely enraptured by Baldur's Gate in my free time so <clears throat> that that video will be coming but for now uh, stay tuned uh, love y'all peace out can't wait to see more Shadows of Change news bye bye now